Hi. This video is just a quick follow-up on the first video for setting up your Fallout New Vegas. So if you want to bring up the original launcher in order to adjust your settings, this will show you how. What you want to do is open your game folder and the renamed NVSE here you want to drag and drop that to your desktop. Then you want to go to the original folder and make a copy of this. Make sure it's a copy and not a cut because you want to keep this original file. So after you've copied it, paste it back into the game folder and just run it. You can then adjust your settings, um, graphics and such and then once you've done that you can either run the game from the launcher and test it otherwise if you've completed it then at this point you just have to drag the renamed script extender back into the folder and overwrite the copy make sure that you still have the original here and this will restore it to the script extender that's basically it for switching back and forth for the launcher. If you would like, probably the best thing to do is make a shortcut to the game folder and place it on your desktop if you plan on making a lot of alterations and having to go back and forth to the game folder. One last thing, I thought I'd just go through the ENB and Suite effects you want to do this after everything's running and the game is set up properly the way that you want it. All you have to do is download it here and once you've downloaded it you want to extract the files to your game folder. So once again, just open your game folder through the browse local files if you're with Steam. However, retail or GOG, open it according to the location for that one. Open that EMB and Suite Effects file. And all you're going to do is drag and drop these files into the game folder. Once you start, you should see the EMB running in the upper left. Instructions for using it are on the mod and can be found on my mod DB profile. The extra DX files, the D3 D9 files, are extra library files if you don't happen to have your full DirectX installed. This is normally the files that it looks for. If you're a Windows 10 user, you want to make one change, and that is rename the DXGI to D3D11. That's basically it. If at this point you start the game and the game crashes, or the graphics aren't quite right, you want to Go to the Alt D3 D9 folder. I'd select the Black Mesa first, however, there are four. And just take that, copy it, and paste a copy into the game folder, overwriting the existing one until you find the correct one that will work with your game. If you have any trouble, just check the mod page for that, and that should help you correct it. If not, feel free to ask me a question and I'll answer it as best as I can. That's basically it. I hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you again.